توبوا إلى الله جميعا أيها المؤمنون لعلكم تفلحون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته everyone welcome back to prayers of the pious So today we actually cover one of my favorite uh, du'as in the series because of how personal it is. It's a long one, uh, but it's truly a beautiful one. Um, this is actually narrated about a very special woman, Habiba al adawiya uh, May Allah have mercy on her. She's not one of the companions, but one of the following uh, generations, one of the pious predecessors. And she had this uh, habit, uh, this is narrated by Abdullah al-Makki and others, that when it used to get really dark at night, and her Qiyamul Lil, she would actually head up to the rooftop and she would start to call out to Allah towards the uh, the middle of the night or when it was very dark and she had these words that were narrated that are just so powerful she says Ilahi, غارت النجوم ونامت العيون وغلقت الملوك أبوابها وبابك مفتوح وخلا كل حبيب بحبيبه وهذا مقامي بين يديك so she says O oh Allah, O oh my Lord, the stars have vanished. غارت النجوم ونامت العيون And the eyes have slept. وغلقت الملوك أبوابها And the kings have locked their doors. وبابك مفتوح But your door remains open. وخلا كل حبيب بحبيبه And every lover has found privacy with their beloved. وهذا مقامي بين يديك And here I am standing before you. It's a very powerful uh, dua, Al-Hafid ibn Rajab rahimahullah mentioned that you spend your days at the doors of kings, but at night when the king of all kings calls upon you, you fail to stand for him and you fail to reach out and, and respond even though he calls upon you wanting to provide for you. When the night would pass and she would continue to, pl- to pray, as the night would finish and as Fajr would come in, uh, she continued with her dua and she ended her night with this powerful supplication and she said, Allahumma wa hadha laylu qad adbara wa hadha naharu qad asfara. Oh Allah, there goes the night departing and here goes the day brightening. And she said, wa ya layta shi'ri and oh how much or, or how, oh how I wish to know. Fa layta shi'ri hal qabbilta minni laylati fa ahna. Have you accepted this night from me so that I may congratulate myself? Or have you rejected it from me so that I may extend myself condolences? And she continues and she says, She said that uh, after obviously saying that if you accepted this night, then I will celebrate. And if you rejected this night, then I would uh, extend to myself condolences by your might. This is my commitment for as long as you keep me alive. By your might, even if you scold me, I will never leave your door nor will anything but your generosity and your grace be felt in my heart. This is a powerful way of combining the conversation that you have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which has to be driven out of hope to have that type of a personal call with Allah. But at the same time, at the end, just like our father Abraham, Ibrahim alayhi salam, when he calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even after building the Kaaba, he and his son ask for acceptance. And this is the perfect combination of hope and fear here. That she called upon Allah with the most beautiful personal supplication. But as the night uh, fled, she asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you accept this from me, I will celebrate. And if you turned it away from me, then I will extend myself condolences. But at the same time, I will keep on trying. Nothing will ever keep me away from your door. And nothing will fill my heart except for your grace and your love. So I'll keep on trying. A lot of times when we call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a very personal dua, one of the things that happens is that we we say, all right, well, we got the dua done. Now, you know, I'm I'm just waiting to see some miracle happen in my life. 
So you can either become complacent after an amazing night like that, an amazing conversation that you have with your Lord, or um, you can be discouraged and you can start to move away because something happens the next day and you feel like maybe that's a sign that my dua, uh, my supplication wasn't accepted. So the power of this woman and, and the beauty of this dua is that all she wanted as the night passed, because you will never know for a fact whether your dua was accepted in this world or not, was to have another opportunity to be at the door of her Lord. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never turn us away from his door and may Allah allow us to always be amongst those that call upon him and that knock at that door until we are finally greeted by him and welcomed by him in the hereafter into his gardens. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. See you all next time inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu Allah.